My name's Gordon Harcourt. You might know me from my years on Fair Go. There's someone I want to help, and after you watch this, I'm hoping you might want to chip in too. Yeah, I just want justice for the little people that that believe in the in the system and that people are going to be honest and upfront when they sell you something that it is what they say it is. Nicholas Sharp loves helping others. I do. Um, I run a return to work program for people with health conditions, injuries or disabilities. How are you feeling about asking for help yourself? Very uncomfortable asking <laughs> for help. Yeah, I look, I feel a little bit uncomfortable um, asking people for money. I uh, am aware that on these pages there's a lot of people that have terrible things happen to them and cancer and things like that. But Nicola is among thousands of Kiwis stuck with a leaky home. The, the leaks are inside the walls, so they are a bit difficult to see. And expensive to fix. Absolutely. The cost of reclad is about as much as I paid to buy the house in the first place. How much? Uh, 300, over $300,000 just to reclad my small two-bedroom unit. This new testing shows it may in fact be beyond repair. Nicola's taking legal action against a real estate agent, an agency, a body corporate committee chairperson, a body corporate company and her solicitors. That's what this appeal is for. So by helping me to win those cases, it could help thousands of other people who end up in the same boat. <laughs> Muffin is great stress release for Nicola. She's not usually this shaggy. She just hasn't had a haircut in a while. You see, Nicola likes to do things right. She got this, a pre-purchase building report for the place, but it was provided to her by the agent from a previous buyer who fell through. Well, a bit of a fairy story, really, I think. Just uh, not worth the paper it was written on. And it's not just Nicola's place. The whole complex needs extensive repairs. This is what another owner found after she moved into a different unit. Somehow, body corporate documents don't mention any problems. You see, Nicola did her homework. These are the Body Corp AGM minutes that I requested prior to purchasing the unit. Body corporate meetings, but no mention of leaky building repairs or planned repairs. No, absolutely not. Nothing to indicate any leaking at all. What do you feel about that? Doesn't seem quite right. The agent managed another unit in the complex and she attended body corporate meetings. I'm, I'm just angry at the fact that she takes no responsibility at all uh, and is, is you know, basically saying that it didn't have anything to do with her. The agent says she didn't know the unit was leaky when Nicola agreed to buy the place in November 2012. She says she recommended Nicola get her own billing report and she says the situation is at least partly Nicola's own fault because she didn't get her own report. What I'd like to see happen is, is these people be held to account um, and ultimately be able to give me some compensation so I can repair my home. I volunteered my time to do this video for Nicola and for Hobans, the Homeowners and Buyers Association, among many other things, they are helping prepare Nicola's case. If you want to help Nicola and Hobans, please give and tell others about this appeal. I, I just I feel really cornered and that there isn't much I can do other than fight.